Hi, I'm Denise Summers of Standout. If you'd like to be a featured guest on my show, please click on the button below. Hope you enjoy the episode. I'm Denise Summers, your host of Standout, the video series celebrating the successes of women founders and business leaders. Today we're joined by Karen Berry, the founder of Beltline Cannabis. So welcome, Karen. Glad to have you on the show. Thank you. Yeah, and so you're the owner of a successful cannabis store in Calgary, which is, I, as I understand it, up for a Calgary Small Business Award, um, which you'll hear about in the next couple of weeks. Yes. And so you've had a really interesting career path. And in the time I've known you, you've told me you like to be challenged. Mm -hmm. And so you've had another success. What's next for you? Yeah, that's just such a loaded question and, and thank you. Um, yeah. What's next? Boy, it depends on what day it is. Yeah. Uh, I have some things brewing in my brain just today as an example. Uh, right now at the store, we're working on uh, a new display wall. And in the display wall, we are now nudging ahead with a loyalty program. Uh, oh. What that looks like yeah. is all of the tactical pieces of the puzzle to get together to actually make it work. Right. Uh, so as an example, we just finished um, developing our online menu, which many just sign up for the online menu and someone provides the service. I'm not quite wired like that. Right. So we developed it ourselves uh, with some programmers that I have. And uh, now we're into the next step. How do we connect it all and then get people coming through the door and then earning loyalty points? So that's one project. Then you could ask me about 10 other projects. We are right now in the midst of trademarking the word bud tender. And so in my brain, I'm going, all right, so maybe what we do is we do, I own budtenderlife.ca. I'm a bit of a, a domain junkie. Right. So I own tons of domains. When I think about a cool domain, I just go and snap it up. Anyway, I own budtender.life, uh, sorry, budtenderlife.ca. And in there, we may then go and do a logo for Bud Tender and then what that looks like on this swag so that then when you come into the store, you can start collecting your Bud Tender swag. Then if you take that one step further, maybe we just go and market all of the Bud Tender swag stuff right. to other stores as right. an example, because Bud Tender is such a cool name. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's one option. Yeah. Uh, as you know, I've got a book on the go, yeah. which isn't finished yeah. and ooh. you've got to write a book Karen yeah, yeah the, the you've been a stand-up comic you've been a bartender in Amsterdam you've been a very successful commercial realtor and now the owner of um, a very successful cannabis store mm -hmm. and so what would your advice be to uh, women or to anyone really wanting to um, become an entrepreneur or considering it Thank you for the question. And uh, I'm going to address this one right here. The table has been set. Sometimes you don't choose to be an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur chooses you. I'll elaborate. The book that I'm writing is called Accidental Feminist. I didn't see him or her or what have you. What I saw was opportunity. And opportunity reveals itself at the time that you least expect. Yeah. Our job is to be paying attention. So in my studies, I've studied a fair bit on spirituality and I don't want to say it's, it's the, ooh, let's go bend down and do whatever. I'm just going to say it's, it's a process of awareness, right? Uh, I can look back when I saw Oprah in Calgary a few years ago and she said, you know, if you can connect the string of your life, and I didn't really pay too much attention until suddenly along comes the cannabis store. And meanwhile, I was a bartender in cannabis, or a bartender dating a guy working at the cannabis store in Amsterdam in 1985. Right. Whew. Yeah. Who would have ever known? Yeah. Uh, you know, I ended up with a piece of real estate that's 25 feet across by, you know, a typical lot the size of a small house. And it was the only spot in the entire Beltline that wasn't encumbered by a school or um, some other thing that would disallow us to put the cannabis store. It was the only spot in all 
of the belt line was my 25 foot lot. Yeah. So you're really what you're saying with advice for, for people wanting mm -hmm. to be or thinking of starting their own business is um, to be willing to take risk, mm -hmm. to always be looking for opportunity. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I, I, as an entrepreneur myself, I totally agree with that. You always have to be looking for opportunity mm -hmm. and but also still be really focused well yeah. i tell you I, I, yeah. and i and i don't want to turn the interview around but denise you're the perfect example of this oh. okay <laughs> you are and i look at standout and i look at what an amazing opportunity this is for women similar to me yeah. uh, that immediately responded and said yes absolutely yeah. without hesitation to yeah. be here yeah. to let the folks out there know uh, ladies, the table has been set. Yeah. Uh, now, that's not to say or to instill fear on our male counterparts, because yeah. if we if we actually, as uh, as Ruth Gator G Ruth Ginsburg uh, said, right, just get off our necks. And it's not to bash men, because yeah. I, I, you know, there's good men, there's good women, there's there's yeah. you know, there's yeah, good folks, folks yeah. right? Um, but to just be able to embrace what that is and be willing to continue with it. You mentioned four businesses of mine. Yeah. Well, that's only just a small. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure little, that's just right. The, I've got the appraisal yeah, the tip company. Of the iceberg. I've yeah. I've got my first company, which was uh, motivational posters. Yeah. Uh, there, the, you know, the stand-up comedy, the yeah. writing. Yeah. So it's really stretching into things that maybe. When you were younger, you had an interest in it. I had a real right. interest in public speaking. Yeah. And, and and then I thought, well, I want to public speak and elevate what I'm doing. Yeah. So I went and studied at Yak Yaks. It's right. You know, wasn't Toastmasters, but yeah. and I'm not maybe a Toastmasters person. Yeah. So. Well, and you, yeah, I mean, you have certainly had uh, an amazing career, and and really, you're the the true definition of an entrepreneur, someone who's willing to take the risk and, yeah. and willing to um, fail and to get up again yeah. and to keep going. And so thank you for joining us today. Uh, it's It's been great to have you on. And uh, and that was Karen Berry, the founder of Beltline Cannabis. Uh, and where can people find out more about you? Yeah, thanks, Denise. So uh, you can reach out to us at BeltlineCannabis.com. You can reach out to me personally at info at beltlinecannabis.com. And if you just want to browse around the menu and see what we've got to offer in the shop, we've got a full menu with everything on there that uh, is in our adult candy store. Look forward to seeing you 806 12th Avenue behind the Safeway. <laughs> Great, Karen. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, if you want someone to be a guest on our show, be sure to click on the link below. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe so you never miss an episode.